ですか God is good. Praise the Lord.
the Lord say you this morning I missed some of you yesterday I'm a little bit in in a bit of a shock this morning uh, for a simple reason I woke up this morning and you know um, I'm a I'm a fan of football soccer as we call it on this side of the world and woke up this morning and I turned on the news and I saw breaking news uh, a soccer player who was I think on a private plane you know the plane has disappeared from radar you know what that means most of the time and so uh, it's not looking good. And the story is this footballer was signed by a club in the UK. So he was leaving France to come to the UK. Just a short journey. It's not more than an hour and a half. You know, uh, you know it's very, very short journey. And the airplane, you know, the aircraft disappeared from radar. And it's all over the news and social media. And he had just... Uh, left a tweet you know saying bye bye to his former teammates and it's looking like uh, it's, it's not looking good because uh, you know and it, it just brought to my mind some of the things that we pray about and you know we might take it for granted or we might take it lightly or when we say we're praying that you know we're flying on the you know, uh, <clears throat> Holy Ghost Airlines and those kind of things, it, it might seem like, you know, we're just making stuff up and nothing bad is going to happen. But seeing this happen at the beginning of the year, already so much death assignments and so many agendas of death which has been perpetrated by the wicked one, it is, it is, it is a statement of intent. From the devil just looking at it on, on the news you know is a statement of intent from the devil he had been bought by a club you know in the UK for 50 million pounds so you're looking at let's say 20 million US dollars so he was being transferred from one team to the next going to start a new career you know going to play in front of thousands of people but see how the enemy has come in and has cut short his life prematurely. He was only 27, 28 years of age. And the devil has gone, just come in and taken him out prematurely. Ah. We need to understand. We need to remain prayerful we, we we need to remain hidden and covered in the blood the blood of jesus not the blood of any man not the blood of any woman i apologize i remember i told you a few days ago to get the oil ready i remember i told you that and i couldn't you know i haven't been able to you know come on at the time that i wanted to but this is one of the reasons why at the beginning of every year genuine men of god will tell you you know the oil communion because what is now it is what will prevent the disasters that the enemy has planned just like you have targets for the year the enemy also has targets wants to wipe people out wants to take out people prematurely listen to me you are not exempt i was also reading about lionel richie i think his son done some crazy stuff i think was at the airport and make some crazy statement about how he was carrying a bomb so listen to me, it doesn't matter how much money you have, it doesn't matter how much wealth your parents have, it doesn't matter, but what just now, what matters is the covering, the blood of Jesus that you have. Because listen to me, you can have all the money in the world, but your children will make you have sleepless nights. My God, if Jesus is not your covering, and if Jesus is not your savior, 
You see what I'm saying? That's why I say don't envy nobody because you have no idea the sleepless nights and the and the and the restless nights that some of these folk that you're envying are having. And you go to bed and you sleep. You go to bed and you know everything is okay with you. You may not have everything that you want, but you have your right mind. There's a whole bunch of people got all the money in the world, but they are not in their rightful mind. We want to thank him this morning in Jesus' name that we have him. Not only do we have him, we, we, we know him, my God, and he knows us. He knows us by name. He knows us by name. Oh, Jesus. He knows us by name. You know, I was reading a, a, a little, uh, you know, headline yesterday about, you know, uh, Lionel Richie and all his children. The trouble or the drama that they've been given, you know, the ones on drugs and, you know, all kinds of bad decisions being made. And that just let me, I said, you know what? It's not about the money that you have. There is a spirit that flows through certain bloodlines and if you don't exempt yourself, it is not your money that is going to exempt you. You see what I'm saying? It is not your fame that is going to exempt you. It is the Christ that you know. It is your relationship with the Elohim. My God, you can give your children the wealth and that's okay. But what is now? If you don't give them Jesus Christ, if you don't teach them, if you don't train them, my God, how to be in Christ, Sister Cheryl? Is the Porsche? If you don't give them, that is the best gift you can give them. Because what is now? You can give them all the best, all the, all the doors that you can open for them. But if Jesus is not in their life, you will see, you will see the kind of lifestyle that they will bring you. You will see the kind of shame that they will bring you. You see the kind of headlines that they will be bringing to your house. Ah. Just looking at the headlines and he's saying, a singer son Milo, 24, is held at Heathrow for threatening to blow up a plane. How the perils of parenthood from drug driving charges to undesirable boyfriends are still keeping Lionel Richie up all night long. That is the headline, you know, just playing on the songs that he's... It doesn't matter. You see what I'm saying? That's why I say, listen, do not envy these folk. You see what I'm saying? This is not the legacy that he wants to leave behind. So it is not your money. The devil doesn't respect your money. The devil is not fearful of your money. And listen to me, money that does not connect to God Money that has no connection to God is nothing. When your finances is not being covered by God, listen to me, you will live and you will see your children coming to destroy and squandering all the wealth that you have amassed. Sister Diana, imagine, Sister Valsa, imagine if Lionel Richie has an altar that he can go to every morning with all his money, with all his wealth. He can go to his altar every morning and cry unto God for his children and cry unto God for the crazy decisions that they're making, cry unto God and ask the Lord to step into their life and make them, make them a blessing and not a mockery my God, make them a blessing and not a mockery my God, the bloodline curses, the bloodline diseases the bloodline decisions which don't bring favor on both the mother's side and the father's side God, I'm cleansing my children out of it in the name of Jesus it's not your money that will save you. It's not your money that will prevent your children from making those decisions. Why would a 24-year-old be at the airport and threaten to blow up a plane? Think about it. What kind of spirit will, will drive a 24-year-old to say, I'm going to blow up a plane? So this is why you and I, we engage in this warfare that we do every day. This is why we fight for this breakthrough. This is why we push every day, every opportunity that we get. We come to God and we say, God, you are the strength of our lives. You are everything that we need. You are everything that we want. Father, let it be as you have said. Oh, Jesus, we claim this peace upon our children. We claim 
this mind which is in Christ on the altar of God, we claim it for our children. In the name of Jesus. Palabasi. Come on. Come on. Don't get angry for nothing. Get angry with the devil that is trying to intimidate and to torment you. Get angry with that agenda, my God, that wants to destroy. Listen to me. You know one of the worst things the devil can do? God just gave me a scripture. You're gonna help me find Mr. Cheryl. Pray with me for pray with pray with me for a few minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you a scripture. Rolabasia. Vese Koraba. Zebre Kosan de Rebia. Lebre Kasa Talabra City Libria. Zendoro Brokebra Sibri Kaba. We're gonna arrest. We're going to arrest in the name of Jesus. We are going to arrest in the get ready. Get ready. Find you that sacred place that you meet God. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you one of the one of the most ha ah, the devil, the devil and his plans. I'm gonna show you something. Mm. Open up, open up your mouth and begin to cry unto him in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. Father, we bless your name in the name of Jesus. We bless your name in the mighty name of Jesus. We magnify you in Jesus' name. Let your name be praised and let your name be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. For the Lord is good and his mercy is endure forever. For God is good and his mercy is endure forever. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is speaking to us. The Lord is going to speak to us this morning in the name of Jesus. Go to the book of 2 Kings chapter 25. I want to show you something. 2 Kings chapter 25. Yes, Lord. 2 Kings chapter 25. 2 Kings chapter 25 in the name of Jesus. Libro se tele bria zon de de brico talaba e sen de 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 bria so calaba ze bron de de brio kata ze brico. I want to show you something. It's a trick of the enemy. Second Kings chapter 25, verse 7. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get you some clarity. Okay, so let's start from verse 4. Then the city wall was broken through, and all the men of war fled at night by way of the gate between two walls which was by the king's garden even though the chaldeans were still encamped all around against the city and the king went by way of the plain but the army of the chaldeans pursued the king and they overtook him in the plains of jericho all his army was scattered from him so they took the king and brought him up to the king of Babylon at Ribla. Look at what's going to happen here. And they pronounced judgment on him. Then they killed the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes. Listen to what they did. They killed his sons before his eyes. And then they put out the eyes of Zedekiah. Bound him with bronze fetters and took him to Babylon. Do you know why they did that? Because they wanted the last thing that he could see was the killing of his sons. And then they blinded him. You see one trick of the enemy? The last thing the devil wanted them to wanted Zedekiah to see was the killing of his sons. And then blinded him. So that that would be etched in his memory. Psychologically, he would not be able to erase it. Because you know what? See, when you're able to see, you know, sometimes when you see disaster... You know, by the next day or a few days later, you know, like you, you, you know, you, you can you can work it out of your vision. You see what I'm saying? But if it's the last thing that you see, and then you go blind, it is imprinted and is impregnated in your memory, and you cannot unsee it. And that is what that is what the devil made happen to Zedekiah. And listen to me, listen to me. A lot of parental figures 
that is the battle and the challenge they're facing right now because they are watching their children having breakdowns and doing things that is beyond their mental capacity to grab a hold of and they don't know where to turn you know Lawrence Fishburne you know the, the actor in Matrix you know Lawrence Fishburne one of the one of the you know big great actors you know that you know Hollywood has you know he had a problem a few years ago sister Latasha you know he had a problem a few years ago and what was the problem one of his daughters I don't know if that's the eldest daughter that he has got herself entangled in the adult entertainment industry and there were videos of her that was getting ready to be published and the friends of Lawrence Fishburne tried everything to remove the videos from circulation they couldn't do it her daughter's name Montana Fishburne videos came out embarrassing to the father I believe I don't know if they've been able to repair their relationship but for a time Lawrence Fishburne had wanted nothing to do with her embarrassing when you look at her she looks like Lawrence Fishburne and it's a fight and it's a constant battle it doesn't matter how much money you have because if that's the case, then the rich and the prosperous ones will be able to prevent certain things from happening to their children. They plotted that they would kill, plans to destroy, watch, make you watch it, and then make sure that it's the last thing that you ever see. But by reason of prayer and revelation and fresh manner from the throne room of grace, you and I have the ability and the power to make sure that any disaster, any design, any designation, anything which is the desire of the wicked one to make it come to pass in my life, to the betterment of the demonic kingdom, what is that? for the growth of the devil's kingdom, anything that is being planned against me or against you, that is rather going to aid the devil's plan. By reason of prayer and sacrifice, by reason of the cry of the saints and the righteous, may it escape us in Jesus' name. Listen to me. This year when you jump on the plane, uh, listen, I've been praying this with you. I said you have to make a demand. Listen to me. It's not because, uh, Sister, Sister Cheryl Williams, it's not because I tweeted on social media that I'm going to make it to my destination. That is what's going to cause me to get to my destination. It's not because I took selfies in the plane. That is not, that is not what's going to drive the plane. to the. It's not because the pilot has 30 years of experience. It's not because the plane has passed every test. Because what is that? The spirit realm overrides. When we don't pray, what is in the atmosphere will override what is in the natural. It is not because the mechanics, it's not because the plane is a brand new plane. It's not because it has flown millions of flights and it has never had any issue. That is not what is going to guarantee my safety. What is going to guarantee my safety? What is now? It is the blood of Jesus that I apply. It is the blood of Jesus that I apply. The fuel that, 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 that makes sure that it will get to its destination. That is the reason why, what day are we in? We are still believing on the 22nd day, day 22. We are still believing. We are still believing. We have taken a hold of this revelation. We have taken a hold of this revelation and we are praying. The guy was at the edge of his breakthrough. He was at the edge of his breakthrough. And now look. The edge of his breakthrough. Listen to me. For you and I, that, that is not going to be our testimony. That is not going to be 
our end. Then the right story is like, he was a polite, kind, and adorable boy, loved by everyone. His, 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 his football club's name is called Cardiff. Cardiff in shock as fears grow for missing 50 million pound sign in Salah after plane crash in English Channel. Just hours after posting final photo saying goodbye to his teammates. Might not make sense to some people. Let me just try and see if I can flip the camera around. This is what is. That's him. He signed for his new club. Getting ready for a new journey. Doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Listen to me. Even Jesus, before he came, a prophet came and said, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. The path is supposed to be straight. But there is a devil who has made it crooked. There is a devil who has put some dents and some potholes on the road and is waiting for you to, to go into that pothole so that you can have an accident, so that you can cause a car wreck, so that your life can be taken up prematurely. If you don't commit yourself to prayer and you don't get God as the source, God bless you, woman of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on. Satan. La tode bre katolo min dere bria. Ze bre ko shan dere de vio. Ze bre ko. In the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. We magnify your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your name. Come on. Open up your mouth and begin to thank him in Jesus' mighty name. Open up your mouth and begin to exalt his name in the matchless name of Jesus. God is good. God is good in Jesus' name. Open up your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, we thank you right now. We lift up your name. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Let your name be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your name be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth wherever you find yourself this morning. Ah, every limitation, every agenda to frustrate, every agenda to manipulate, every agenda to destroy, every agenda to terminate your life in the name of Jesus by reason of prayer and by reason of sacrifice and by reason of the fact that we come to God every hour of prayer, we are in his face. Let the voice of Elohim override and eat up every other voice because of the blood in Jesus' mighty name. You are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. I said you are victorious in Jesus' name. Heaven and earth adores the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus is his name. Jesus is his name. Jesus is his name. Day 22 will be victorious. Day 22 will bring the victory. Day 22 will bring the victory. And I will see the end of this month in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for every sacrifice that you have laid on the altar. Every, every seed that you have sown for January, for December. Everything that has come out of you from your sweat, from your work. I'm going to pray and ask the Lord to bless it and to receive it in Jesus' name. So that where you brought it from will always be blessed. Amen. Where you took that seed from to bring it, God will always bless that place in Jesus' name. So that there shall never be lack and you will never run out in Jesus' name. Is that okay? Come on, let's open up our mouths and begin to pray. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Mighty God, I bless your name. Mighty God, I thank you. You are God all by yourself. I lift up your name. I magnify your name this hour in the name of Jesus. That God, you will receive not just our prayers, but God, our giving and our sacrifices in Jesus' mighty name. You shall accept it. Father God, you shall receive it. And Father God, you will bless it in Jesus' name. Bless us, oh God. Bless us 
us, O God. Bless us, O God. Let everything that we do be a blessing according to your word and according to Father God, the vision and the mandate that you have given to us in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, O God. We thank you, O God. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Father, I let your name be exalted over the lives of your people. I let your name be exalted over the lives of your people, God. Let your voice become audible. Let your voice become clear. Let your voice be heard. And let the devil be destroyed in this season of our lives. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O God. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Now, everybody, under the sound of my voice, we've had a few challenges with the website, but it's back up and running. Okay, so whatever it is that you uh, you know want to be able to do, those of you that support the ministry, listen. Uh, if you don't support prayer mantle financially, I want you to pray about it and think about it. Okay, we we have a lot of projects that we're running, and it is your support that keeps it going. Okay, so in whatever area that the Lord is blessing you, why not consider you also being a blessing to prayer mantle? Okay. Uh, we need your help and we need your support. Okay, the website is back up and running. Just last week, but it's back up and running, so you can go there, uh, www.prayermantle3.com, and whatever it is that you support, okay, let the Lord lead you and let the Lord direct you. In Jesus' name, take a look at the website, look at the things that we do, and uh, be a blessing, okay, as the Lord has blessed you and as the Lord has increased you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, God is good. God is worthy. I love you. I'm praying for you. Please be consistent. Pastor Gail, let's be consistent with our praying, okay? In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. You will not be like Zedekiah. I will not be like Zedekiah. You hear me? That's what you need to pray. I will not be like Zedekiah. My God, right before my eyes, I will not what my children will not die. You got to pray. I will not be like Zedekiah. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Bye-bye. Jesus' name. I'm going to come back tonight for the oil, okay? Because I just made the announcement. So I'm going to come back tonight, okay? In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.